So, may get on that. But I've been wanting to show you guys or do a house build update and shop update. So, I got a couple things to do right fast. And then uh, maybe we'll head over there and I'll show you that. got those done so my plan as of late was to try to do a full-on house shop update but it seems like every time I go over there I get caught up doing something else I only get like a little bit of footage So then when I sit down to edit, or before I even do that, I know that I don't have enough footage. So I'm like, I'll just get it next time. The next time I go back, still the same story. So, I promise, house, shop update coming very soon. Full length video just on that. But uh, I guess for now, we'll work on the bistro a little bit. All right, so my goal in this video is to cut this bar that's going to go from these down tubes that I made in yesterday's video and come back in time to these back down tubes. Uh, this is, should be a pretty simple process. I'm just going to take the uh, digital protractor. We'll make sure that these are 90 degrees to this lower bar. And um, we should be able to figure out the angle that these need to be cut. And the distance should be pretty easy as well. Let's measure it out. No bends. Both sides should be the same. Yeah, pretty simple. So, that being said, it'll probably still take me like Have you ever said I was fancy? You know what? Kind of fitting this bar in here, and I actually think, now that I look at it, I think this bar is actually like overkill. I don't even, I don't even really need it. Hmm. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait on this. I won't, uh, I won't use this for anything else, but I don't think I'm gonna put it in here right now. Uh, the way that it's going to be with these kickers in here, these vertical kickers, it's going to keep these two bars from, you know, doing any kind of flexing. And then really this outside structure keeps this in line along with the rear. Now this is tied into the transmission cross, transmission tunnel cross member. So 
I don't think I want to add it. One thing I do know that I want to do though is I want to put some bars that uh, cross the floor here. Um, mainly for rigidity, kind of side to side rigidity. It's going to do a couple things too. It's going to allow me to mount the seat to it. Um, you know, the crotch portion of the five point harness can go right there. And it'll add some safety to it as well. So I think this thing's gonna go just across here like that somehow. All I gotta do is figure out where I want it. I may get the might get the bucket seat back out. Like literally the bucket seat back out, get sitting in here, kind of see where I want the thing to cross over and uh Cut some bars side to side for it. As soon as I'm able to get all these bars kind of laid out and put in here the way they need to be, then what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, uh, three quarter by eighth inch plate steel or just what do they call it? Uh, bar stock. And I'm just going to lay it in here like this. Kind of welded these tubes, uh, create myself basically a ledge for the floor to sit on. Once I have all that in there, then I can start bead rolling some aluminum and get the floors in here. And uh, it's going to give it a better look than just the bars. It'll kind of give it, kind of take it to the next step. So I'm a little bit excited about that. Going to do that. I'm going to need this stuff too. I bought a ton of it. I'm going to need it everywhere. Like anywhere, I'm going to need to attach some aluminum panels to this thing. It's gonna have to go in here. And then what I've got too, I've got uh, some Zeus fasteners ordered. So all these center panels, I'll just Zeus fasten in, be a little carbon fiber panel and then you can just pop it quarter turn and that panel's gonna be easy to pop out. Tell you what, let's uh, let's do a little riddle for you guys. The first one that can answer the riddle properly in the comments section gets a free T-shirt from Killfab.com, courtesy of yours truly. So there's an old lady, she's super old. She's like 80. She eats dinner. She gets ready for bed. She turns the lights out. She goes to sleep. The next morning. She wakes up, she gets her morning paper, and she reads that a cruise ship has ran ashore. And she thinks it's her fault. Why? All right, there you go. Race to the comments. check this out I got it cut uh, both sides matched I came over here to fit it and instantly I could tell it was way too short so I was like what the hell did I do and as happens on occasion I measured from the one on the tape measure versus the end of it and so I cut it one inch short normally you'd toss this in the scrap bin but I remember that the driver's or the passenger side of this thing is one inch skinnier. So, so came over here and look at that. Just happens to fit perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that hang out right there just for a little bit until I figure out. I'm gonna get uh, the proper one cut for the driver's side and then I need to figure out 
where at in here they need to go as far as how far forward. I'm thinking they're going to be something like that right there. No biggie, just got to start this process over again. What the? Just kidding. You know it's a perfect fit. Every time, except for the last time. Actually, this one's just a smidge loose. Gap on it doesn't look too bad. It's just a little bit looser than I want it. But what I can do is I'll take like a ratchet strap. I'll kind of pull these two together just a little bit. Or I can make it adjustable. Yeah. Get the old bucket seat. Something about like that. Something has to be actually, something has to be, it's really a lot further forward than I thought it was going to be. Come to think of it, this may not be such a bad thing because I got to put a bottom section, you know, that kind of ties this in to make a full loop. And so now, It'll be one continuous piece that comes all the way through. Um, so that may not be that bad of a deal. I really want the seat to kind of sit, the front of the seat to sit about right here. I'm thinking the back of the seat's going to be in here somewhere. And really that's going to give me a little bit of space. Because I still got to figure out a place for the battery and uh, the hydraulic pump. So... I can kind of go over this thing just a little bit. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's it. So I'm not gonna weld any of these up yet. I'm gonna just basically get everything fit, cleaned up, ready to weld, and then that way I can just spend, you know, like straight four hours, however long it takes, and weld everything up at once versus like going back and forth. Plus. Stuff like this to kind of change things up a little bit so <clears throat> cool I like it that kind of splits that floor pan up into two sections too and it's almost in half 
which is a good thing because it doesn't have as much distance to travel so it should be a lot more rigid with it like that and like I said I'll come in here and I'll put some kind of trim piece that three quarter inch trim piece that goes the entire length of this drill holes rivets we're gonna bead roll all this stuff yeah man I think I dig it I'm also having second thoughts about doing carbon fiber on the sides of the tunnel I mean don't get me wrong I want to do all kinds of carbon and do carbon intake for sure 100 percent I was initially going to put carbon on the on the sides of the tunnel but I really think visually with the doors open or even looking in the window that aluminum floor side top all bead rolled nice and clean and coated it's just going to be nasty looking I was originally planning on putting aluminum as the firewall as well but I don't think I'm gonna do that I might do it in steel just so it matches the body perfect it kind of doesn't have this flip-flop effect um, the cow piece so this whole cow piece right here will all be aluminum have an aluminum top in it and I think the fuel tank is going to go in here and I'll probably do it like a fuel cell have it bladdered and everything for safety probably put uh, maybe like an on three pump hat here so it's exposed have the lines kind of showing that things all billet it'll look nice now on this side we'll have like a fuel cell style filler right so you can fill here pop that thing off you feel here um this thing kind of naturally has a slope which i mean i won't use any of this metal i'll make all new steel sheet metal new firewall and an aluminum tank that just kind of sits down in there that has a big lip on it that i can fasten to maybe like a little trim ring that's on this piece here so anyway that's the idea i know i've kind of kept the fuel tank in the dark mainly because i didn't know what the hell i was gonna do but i think that's what i want to do now um, I can run, I was kind of running out of room up front, so I won't run, be able to run a belt drive fuel pump anymore. I can run in the tank pumps. I can run three of them if I need to, which I don't think I'll need that many. I'll run two E85 setup, have the lines come out nice and exposed, run them, you know, cool, whatever. And, uh, yeah, save, same space, room, weight, money, because I don't have to run lines all the way to the back mine's expensive really want to start doing some sheet metal work on this thing just start to see it coming together gonna to get this thing the rest of the way cleaned off want to get floor pans in it maybe even do the trans tunnel and then I might have it set up to where the firewall itself is separate from the body uh, gonna to try to maybe make it to where the body can come on and off this thing independent of some of the sheet metal that's on it so if I can like build all this sheet metal up and have it kind of like roll underneath some kind of lip that hangs off, like that kind of sets over that lip, I think that'd be cool. Man, I'm getting excited. All the all the work work is getting done and it's about the time to have some fun work, some creative work, some bead rolling and design work, rivets and coolness. Or maybe it just feels like that right now. Probably halfway through the sheet metal, I'll be like, man, I'm ready for something else. Because the tube work started off like that, and then it just got to where it was work work. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know. Another video where we're kind of short on the progress side, but it's progress. Progress is always good. It's always a step in the right direction, especially when you can make progress you know, multiple days in a row. Right? Little steps. I used to preach about the steps. I haven't talked about those in a long time. Put in your steps. You put in enough steps, you'll get where you're going. Doesn't even matter where that is. You put in enough steps, you'll get where you're going. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.